about two years ago, I got fed up with working inside a factory environment. I go and work outside, driving giant uh, monster trucks, basically. <laughs> I used to, I used to drive when I worked in the factory. I used to drive past the woodyard and look at those things. I just think I couldn't drive one of those. But you're working outside. I've got the radio on. I'm pretty much my own boss. And that suits me down the ground. I started to play guitar really young, about nine year old. There was this old red guitar lying about. It was bought for my older brother, but he lost interest in it fairly quickly. So this thing was always just lying around there, and I uh, I kept picking it up and trying to bash a tune out of it. I didn't know any chords there, but I managed to uh, start playing tunes on single notes, and it just kind of stemmed from there, really. And when I used to go and visit my mate, his sister showed us a few chords, the G, D, and C, I think. And that was like a revelation. <laughs> One of the Hammerhead songs, I knew what the chords were, so I tried them on piano and it worked quite well. And then just doing it like that slow arpeggio thing, you know. <laughs> Hammerhead started going back to about 75, 76. Brian Hodgson, the other guitarist, he's the founder member, and he was friends with um, a lad called Steve Archer. But anyway, they, they got a drummer and, and they kind of runs a three piece. And then in 1979, you know, I was finally asked to join the band. I think when, when I joined Hammerhead, I started having a few thoughts that, you know, something may happen because we had a single out and one of our tracks ended up on a compilation album. And whenever we went, the people that saw us loved what we were doing. I put a CDs on, on eBay, I think it was within one day, somebody in, uh, actually I think it was actually within two hours, somebody in America bought one, I thought it must be a mistake, you know, so I emailed the guy and I was saying, um, I know there's some other bands in the world called Hammerhead, I just wanted to make sure you, that you've ordered the right CD, you know, and the guy said, oh yeah, so I, I've had uh, some of your material since the early 90s, you know. It's been a, a music shop we work in called Northern Sounds for the last 35 years or something, you know. I've been mates with the owner the whole time, Brian Holmes. But Brian was actually, before he re retired, he was trying to keep going, he was trying to quickly stop down. I think he was just going to close in the end. So for about eight or nine months, there was no, no way to go and work in the field if he wanted to set strings, you know. But a friend of mine already had a little shop in town selling books. He uh, decided to clear all the all the books out and um, to fill the whole place with um, like musical equipment, you know, guitars, strings, all associated stuff. Guitars is my thing, so it is predominantly guitars, but we try to do, you know, keyboards and play, uh, bass and whatever. Even with the bridges gone and even with the recession and even with the fact that we're just a small crappy town in the north, there's still enough people to come in buying accessories and the odd guitar that the, the money was grown in the account to enable us to then buy more stock. My job isn't actually at threat, but they've changed my hours, and I'm basically most of the time working 10 hour days, which doesn't bode well for running a music shop. <laughs> You're in the band. And the whole life's just been turned upside down, and upside down and thrown it in turmoil. And that's the situation I'm trying to deal with at the moment, eh? deciding which way to go. I'm always twining and complaining, really, like, like a lot of people do. I probably wouldn't change anything, you know. It's, you know, you're making decisions in life. I'm still with Fiona. It's great having the lads, got a nice house. I tried about the job, at least I've got a job, you know. <laughs> I don't think I would have liked to have been in, in a, a really successful band. I think I'm quite happy just being in an underground band such as Hammerhead. It is a nice thing that there's 15 to 20 countries out there around the world. People have actually heard of us and buy the odd CD. That in itself is just a nice thing to, to have in your back catalogue, really.